today I'm going to be talk about this. Hi! My Yamaha XG900 from 1983. And I bought it two years ago. And the reason I bought it is actually because my boyfriend had exactly the same motorcycle. It, it's like one year, I think it's one year old, uh, younger, but otherwise it's this exact, exact same motorcycle. And one reason that I bought the, the same motorcycle as him is he has customized and, and did some modifications. And I thought it would be easier for me uh, to like uh, customize know everything about uh, the motorcycle already so I can ask him uh, whenever I hit a problem also and also I like the look of the Yamaha XG uh, about the colors I'm going to have I think it's I'm going to build like a fair as uh, with a like raw look so I'm not so much into color as you maybe know if you follow me on Instagram by the way if you're not uh, it's either Leol go and check that out um, I'm much into I'm very much into like the raw touch unfinished um, brushed steel and yeah, I like like steel and black color. So I am and leather also. I I love leather actually. So I I think I'm going to do this with a, a raw uh, a raw touch with brushed steel look. Uh, I'm going to put on. I think I'm going to put on side covers. I'm going to do a battery box in here. This electric box. I'm going to need the seat. And uh, here is a funny thing. I don't know if you see, I have made four hooks uh, of the gas tank and leather belts. So you can put leather belts here and then you can have like some packing when you're going camping or something. It's going to look cool, I think, with the raw look. Mm -hmm. And then I'm actually right now doing this seat. It's upstairs, so sorry if I'm not showing you this, but I'm going to do a video about how I did the leather seat when it's finished. So uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to know in the future how the leather seat is looking. And it's going to be like a shape that's yeah a, a bit slim. A bit slim see because I like slim <laughs> but uh, it's it has to be a bit comfortable too so something in between like design and comfortable uh, about the electrics I think I'm going to uh, keep as much original as it is because I hate electrics makes me so angry and frustrating all the time because I'm really bad at electrics and I have a hard time to figure out how electric works. <laughs> I, I'm just getting scared of, uh, yeah, get the electric, get some electric, uh, um, yeah, I I'm, I'm, guess I'm afraid to fail on the electrics, so something's burning up or, yeah. Uh, I don't like uh, electric at all. I have to be better at it and I'm going to be uh, in the future somehow. But now I'm just focusing on what I like to do and love to build. So I like the process of make one piece and see what fits with that piece. So I don't have a clear way on everything I'm going to change like from the beginning it sort of comes with the the time and it's easier to see like one piece on and, and almost ready and then you can see like how the next thing is going to look like um, and I'm very um, I changed my mind 
very much. So, for example, I have put on a, a, a bigger headlight and then I was thinking, no, I like a smaller one. Or does it look good with a bigger one? I have a hard time to decide sometimes, but I guess it's good thing in the end because I try out so many things. So when I finally decided that this is the way I want it to look like, I'm 100% sure of it. So. And here you can see Andreas Yamaha XG. It's the same motorcycle, only a year younger than mine. I thought I would show you the process for this motorcycle because I have posted so many pictures of it and so many all of you ask me how does it going and uh, that you want to see the process and it's a slow process and I'm sorry for that because I I, I want to, to work 100% with bikes but I actually can't so I spent 40 hours almost uh, on a hair saloon cutting hairs so I only have like the, the evenings and the weekends of my branching product, but projects but hopefully in the future I will get some more time to doing what I love I can't wait to finish it and it's going to be so much fun to see how mine look versus Andres. If you want to see more videos about the nine, Yamaha 900 uh, project, uh, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to post videos the, along the process of the build. And also, uh, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.